All right, wanted to make a quick video going over my take and comments on the recent kind of debacle going on in regards to the 2022 Qatar uh, World Cup. Uh, essentially what's going on is that they're holding the World Cup in Qatar, which is a Middle Eastern nation, which doesn't have the best record on sodomite, you know, LGBT, the politically correct term, uh, the so-called rights of sodomites. And there's a big thing going on where, you know, there's a call for the boycotts of the, of the games and everything else. And essentially uh, what this is going to be about, I'll just kind of, get right to the point is essentially this type of Western cultural imperialism that is being forced in, into Qatar and not just simply accepting the fact that Qatar doesn't hold the same values as the decadent degenerate Western liberal civilization. So here are kind of four quick things we can learn from this whole uh, debacle going on in the recent news with Qatar and the record on sodomite, you know, gay rights uh, and Western cultural imperialism on the matter. So first of all, the first thing you can learn from this whole thing is that the West feels that it has the moral right and superiority in terms of its secular, socially liberal value system and other, nation, other nations, such as, for example, my home country, my birth country of Russia, or in this, ca in this case, Qatar, must follow the West and adapt to the, de the uh, decadent Western liberal culture, uh, even though what the West defines as so-called as its values is constantly changing. This is true in light of the fact that less than 70 years ago, homosexuality was actually also illegal in almost every state in America and almost every province right here in Canada. Uh, prior to 1962, homosexuality was illegal in every state in America and it was actually a felony that could land you a lengthy uh, term of imprisonment or also hard labor. Uh, there also was 14 states uh, in America that still had laws banning homosexuality up until 2003. Uh, and also homosexual marriage was illegal in some U.S. states up until 2015. And right here in Canada, homosexual marriage was illegal in some areas up until 2005. So, you know, what they call values is constantly changing. Uh, also, the second thing you can learn from this whole uh, debacle over in Qatar is, you know, it's not, apparently it's not enough for the Western world to be a playground to all manner of decadence and degeneracy, but also other nations such as Russia or nations in Africa or Asia have to have this pushed on them as well by the West. Uh, many of the homosexual activists in Slavic Europe or Africa or the Middle East often have Western donors or get some money from Western liberals because uh, it's being forced in at the Western cultural imperialism. There seems to be a consistent failure to just accept the fact, this is the third thing you want that, I, I, that you kind of can learn from this whole thing, there seems to be a consistent failure on the Western liberal side to just, to just basically accept the fact that non-Western nations, such as nations in Slavic Europe, the Middle East, or Africa, don't share the same decadent, degenerate, so-called values of the West. Uh, and this seems to be a problem in the media, both with uh, liberal and conservative media. You know? As stated before, the West has the mentality that if they consider something to be a value, then every other non-Western nation must also accept it and conform to it. Uh, the West fails to realize that this is the exact reason why the Western world is so rightfully hated in many places, uh, such as my home country of Russia or nations in Africa, Asia, and the Middle East. Uh, this cultural imperialism from the West is proof of the fact that the uh, LGBT ideology is, is an alien Western import forced upon non-Western nations like my home country of Russia or uh, Middle Eastern nations like Qatar. Because it's not unknown, these nations don't accept the decadent Western so-called values. Uh, the, the fourth thing you, you can learn from this whole uh, recent news is that the Western values constantly change every 10, 20 years or so, and each time this occurs, the West expects everybody else, particularly in Russia, Slavic Europe, the Middle East, Africa, etc., to also adhere to these decadent uh, set of new so-called values. You know, first it was homosexuality is illegal, then it's gay marriage, then it's uh, now transgender bathrooms, and now we can't even define what a woman is now, and you must also conform to that as well. You know, that's the whole thing. It's Western cultural imperialism. You know, see when when a, when any you know, I'm not pro-Islam. Islam is obviously satanic and demonic. But when a Muslim would go to a Western nation, they're expected to conform to to Western you know culture. But then, if the Westerners want to go to a Muslim nation, that Muslim nation must conform to Western culture as well. You know, here's not here's a word of advice: if you're a sodomite and you don't like the laws in Qatar, don't go to Qatar. <laughs> You know, don't expect them to change your laws and just kowtow to all the, the decadent Western liberal degeneracy. Plain and simple. So just a few things I want to learn from this whole thing. A few, few things I learned, I could put it that way, and a few things that you could learn as well. On this issue of the Qatar World Cup, the LGBT ideology, and this decadent Western liberal cultural imperialism. So anyway, don't be deceived by all this stuff. Uh, Western culture, as it is today, is nothing but a cesspool for decadent de degeneracy of all kinds. I mean, you got open nude parks in Europe. Uh, nude beaches all over the place. France is, you know, has essentially France has regulated immodesty, you know, 
pretty crazy. Yeah, not not the kind of thing that you know. If I was a, if I, for example, if I was the guy running any of these these nations in Asia or the Middle East, you know, I would not be really take their criticism too seriously, quite frankly, because they they not only do they have plenty of war crimes of their own, by the way, too, the Western nations, but also I'd find it hard to take any kind of criticism seriously from a nation who elects a dementia developing president who appoints judges who can't even define what a woman is. So, anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.